Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awesome Beck and we are here for part 8 of Bendy and the Dark Revival. We are on chapter 5 now and we're going to explore this side of the train tracks. Let's see. Let's see if we can find anything good before we continue on. in there, but we do have a note. Let's see. Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off. It just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. Okay. So there's like a phantom train somewhere. I wonder if that's the one I keep hearing. So we have another room back here. Since I don't have powers, I cannot get over the gate. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to get in there. I see a door, but uh, we'll have to see. Let's head on up and see what good old Wilson wants. Hi, Wilson. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet! What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. It was just my tinnitus. No need to worry. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Okay. You're not coming with me, Wilson? That's suspicious. Alright. Checkpoint. Let's, uh... The subject will stand in the designated location! It puts the lotion on its skin. Okay. Oh. That's cozy. Lethal object detected. Oh, okay. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm yeah, I got this deadly ass pipe here. Alright, I guess we'll put it here with the Tommy gun and the axe. Much more deadly than my pipe, but yeah. Remain still for examination. Buddy, you need an inhaler, I swear to god. And we, here we go with the tube again. The subject is cleared for entry. Thank you, ma'am, sir, whatever you are. Very colorful. Oh, hey, Wilson, you're back. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Oh, look at that painting. Jesus Christ, Wilson. Got a got an ego on you. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You well, among other things. never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, 
trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. Okay. But enough talk. We'll deal with that <sighs> soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? No, probably Come not. And no more dawdling. This way now. So what are you besides his housekeeper? What are the other things that you are among? Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then... There's the North Wing. The Ink Demon got in there a while ago, and ever since, we've had to keep the North Wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. You have a library right here. These days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Noted. Well, shoes just keep on clacking, don't they? It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Yeah, I'm tracking that. All right, oh. here we are. Best room in the house. I thought I had to talk to you. You should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. I mean, what stains? Okay. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you... very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But... Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? No. Uh -oh. This is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. That's a good answer. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... mother? Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Betty seems very nice. Like the only nice character in this game so far. Okay, so we have this. Gilson. What's what? a Gilson? Yeah, what is a Gilson? Yellow powder, soybean, salt, and chamomile. Hmm. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Nope, nothing there. Just some toilet paper. Hey there, Audrey. Man, look at the way. She just struts. Anything behind the curtain? Oh, I cannot get behind the curtain. Apparently. We got this. Nope. Oh. I can sit on the toilet. Hmm. Well, this is something. Okay, enough of that. Okay. Mug and the Maiden. Good God, that's a lot. Um, and there's a next page. Oh Lord. There's so many pages. Hmm. Nope. If y'all want to read that story, you can just kind of pause it on each page. Um, that's that's a lot to read. And I am just trying to get through this. I'll go back and read it another time. Can I go in here? Nope. So I need to find a Gilson. Hey, that wasn't there before. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger a distant Ooh. memory. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing. And he left quietly. Later I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. Oh. You mean the guy that wrote this book? Spatial displacement of unknown elements. Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in known time. We will call this length of time euphonic base. From here, we can dispel all needs of societal normalcy and all t typically understood junctions of the world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a Cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires, running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate timescapes, but command them with a larger understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. Okay. Nothing here. So, I mean, it looks like he was talking about, like, parallel universe jumping. Some real Rick and Morty stuff. Fisherman Jeb's Fish Guide. Freshwater Critters. Ooh, the Gilson fish. That might be what I'm looking for. This is one strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. 
crush up the gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful soothing drink. Wow. So I'm looking for a fish? There's gotta be one here somewhere. That you're gonna crush into a powder? That seems a little extreme. Conservatory. It's a piano. Oh, a fish tank. Now that's a fish. Is it a Gilson, though? Ah, he's too fast. Maybe you're just too slow. Did you ever think of that? Um, they sit play music, so. Maybe if it was closer. If it was closer, okay. Oh. Great. There's really nothing around here to take, is there? That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Okay. Gotcha! <laughs> you can't get away from me, you little stinker. Nice. <clears throat> oh, hello? Uh, hello. I, uh, uh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? Yeah, you did. And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> yes, please do. Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. Oh, he does so hate the dry air. Sorry, Harold. Alright. Maybe we should have just asked Betty for help instead of, you know, going on this adventure. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Cool beans. Wait, is there anything in here? I still can't search it. Alright. Let's so, uh, take our cup. Now, Ooh. just three sips of water. That's not water, my guy. That's, uh, One. ink, apparently. Sip. Two possibilities here. Something's going to attack me, I know it. Three. Oh, I <gasps> so, was Betty Alice the whole time? It would make sense, I guess. Bipolar. Hmm. All right, honey. Here's the deal. 
Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. High stakes, I see. Okay, so what do I do for this? Oh. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, the bird sits next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Okay, fox and bear, no. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Okay, the bird and the bear like each other. The pompous fox? Oh, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. What does that even mean? <clears throat> Far too pedestrian? The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play for company of the bear. Okay, the rabbit and the, the bear. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Okay. Um... Okay, so there's a monkey, a rabbit, a pig, and a bird. They didn't say anything about a monkey or a pig. They said fox, bear, bird, rabbit. Um, okay, so we have a fox. And they said the fox would not sit on the left, so it has to be on the right. Uh, the bird sits next to the fox. And the bird also sits next to the bear. Okay, and then the bear sits next to the rabbit. Okay, final answer. Let's lock it in. Ooh. I love this for me. Get too close to them. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Okay. Three. I hope two, I'm right. One. Ooh, I'm right. Okay. So I was right, and they all died. Fabulous. Um. Ooh, colors. What do you know? I didn't poop your party. I played your game. I did everything you said to do. Found a pipe. Very nice, right? Oh god. Why are y'all so sturdy? You can't even see. Y'all are so mean, what the heck? Alright, so uh let's see what this does. We turned it off. Nice. Let's keep this bad boy charged.
we got a ladder, so that's good. Got a linker pipe that we cannot use yet. That's what it does. It gives me my powers back. Yay! That's awesome. Get fucked. Maybe we just don't do that. Um, what's the goal here? Oh, there's an arrow. All right, let's uh. you're out there. Nailed it. Does she move? Where did you go? Oh, nope, she's still standing there. Okay. Ah, there you are. Where did you go? Okay, good. Come out, come out wherever you are. We found a room with a switch. Oh, I see. So, that's one lock. Oh, and there's the door. Where did you go? Are you good, sis? We're gonna go ahead and, uh... Do a little jumpy Stop jump over fighting. here. Start dying! What if I don't want to do that, though? Where did you go? Are you hiding from me? Oh, that's precious. I definitely am, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I am just not all that great. Uh, teleporting very far, Alice. I don't wanna go! Me either, man. You don't seem to give a shit what I want. Oh, I messed that one right up. I know you're out there! Okay, uh, aim higher. Oh, oh, hello? Where do you think you're going? Oh, I gotta recharge my pipe. Uh oh. What's that? Like a first aid station? Gotcha! Ooh, comfort coffee. Out, I finally got my coffee. It took me till chapter five, but I finally got my damn coffee. Where did you go? Um I gotta find a recharge station. Oh. Oh uh, well, I was trying to be smooth about that. Oh, charge station. Okay, charge. Are you 
you hiding from me? Oh, that's precious. All right, and float. Calm down, woman. Where do you think you're the All right, sick. We got the second door open. Where is it? Good to go? take in here, it seems. So we're gonna flip the switch and uh. All right, so it's opening that door. Vanish Alice Angel. Okay, so I got to sneak up on her, it seems. Where right. did you go? Let's be smooth about this. Gotcha! Oh, that was perfect. Alright, um. Well, I did try, I did try. Alright, I'm up. She sees me, I'm down. Okay, so I just sneak up on her from here. I know you're out there. Nice. Nice. I bet that feels really familiar, doesn't it? My face. Thanks, Alice. You have my face. It's our face. Beautiful. Always were. This feels so familiar. <laughs> Deja vu. Are you alright, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. Hi, my Tom. Friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay. It's I'll like the same name. But, only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson! I almost forgot! I have to get back right away! Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Uh -uh. If it's true, Audrey, you're a dumb you'll bitch. Both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? All right. So they're back. Hi, Tom. You look very angry. I can pet. You? Oh, look at him. See? He's not mean to me. You had no reason to ignore me earlier. Tom's nice. Okay.
Got a note. Beautiful people run this world. If you can have brains or talent, you may just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. The crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot. I was reborn with my perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Alice Angel. She had a lot of self-image issues for sure. No, you're, only, you're only as beautiful as you think you are. Sneak past this guy. No, don't send me back. Please have mercy. Nope. What long tentacles you have. There's not... Oh, there's a hiding spot here. Let's see if I can just do a little sneaky sneak around here. Yes. That's a good player. Alright, what do we got? Another room. Look you there. Hi. Nope. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Okay. All right, so I need to fix the music box. Oh no. I don't know if you will read these notes, but I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. In this strange and dark place, we can find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. We're not lost. We're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, formed from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. A friend. So, I guess Allison wrote her that note. What do we got up here? Oh, good lord. Um. Get down, get down, get down. Is he coming? Oh, he's going the other way. Okay, good. We got another note here. And some soup. Thank you. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives. But I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? Well, where is good old Sammy? I don't know if I want to deal with his ass again. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Hide, hide. Oh, that was super close. 
All right. Uh, wait for Mr. Tentacle Monster to pass by. Here and up. What do we got? Battery. Really not a lot of stuff to loot in this area. What do we got? And oh look, a key. We got one part of the music box. We just gotta find the little Doodad that goes on the top. Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh that scared the fucking shit out of me Okay um let's get this bread See if this guy's up here. Nope, I am good. Um, I assume I'm crossing this. Oh shit! Ooh, that was close. Um, hello. looks enlightening. Good times. Oh. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, I see something that I have to unlock. My gent part pipe is not charged. Alright, so, um, I need to charge my pipe real quick so I can go unlock that door. these guys aren't super aware or they just make too much noise that they don't hear other things perfect all right these guys are still over here chilling uh, I don't think they can see me so that's a plus Oh, this is not going to be good. Move very slowly. Um, okay. So, there's a door here, but there's also a thing here. Power down. So, maybe I can get my powers back. Heck yeah. Are they going to start coming after me now? Apparently they don't. Alright, that's a plus. Right, sneaky, 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 sneak. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Alright, bet. Apparently they can't see through chain link fence, which is fortunate for me. Yeah, Audrey, let's get this bread. Oh, he's coming back this way. Oh no. Right, right, right. Let's, 
Oh, yes. Oh, I love that for me. Okay. Here's what I needed. And that's all the pieces for the music box. Looks good to me. Let's get back and fix this thing. So I've got the music box pieces and my powers. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Swap down here and fix us a music box. Fixed. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. Okay. Oh lord. Oh, thank god he turned around. That was super lucky. Let's figure out where I'm putting this music box. Oof. I don't love that for me. Here goes nothing. see me. I have a chain link fence right in front of my face. Y'all can't see through it. Alright, let's get this. Run away. Ooh, I made it. They're just moseying back like nothing happened. Oh, it's Betty! Okay, so I guess Betty and Alice were not the same person. Can I break these? No. Alright, what's up, Betty? How are you doing? So, I was in the north wing, I see. Okay. There you are, thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? N um, sure, I guess. Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen, and I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. Go by train? Subway. When you need to travel, take the train. Catch the subway when you need to travel between Wilson's Retreat and downtown. The next train is always on time. Okay. Ooh, now that I have my powers, I wonder if I can get over that. For that that wall, you know. Let's see. Oh, what is that? That's a big old bird. Can I get up there though? Let's see. No, of course I can't. Why would you let me in to see the big bird? Look at you! You're massive! Alright, well, if, if there's a way to get to the bird, I will find it. Hmm. Where does this train come from, exactly? Oh, hello? Ah, 
Perfect. Please be clear of the door. and convenient. Does it? Oh, it's just the one door that opens. I see. Oh. Okay. Oh, look, a book. Got him. Oh, look, I can go back in there. And here's that linker that leads me to um, Big Steve. I wonder. I wonder what would happen if I come down here. There's gotta be a like a pipe down here that I can use. Respect me. Aha! Linker pipe. Where does this take me? Oh, where am I? Oh. Well, that was a bust. I think I just broke my game. Okay, so I'll, I'm, I'm assuming I cannot go f any further back than that. Which is unfortunate. Good, we get to deal with more of them. Oh, hello? Oh! Jesus Christ. Like, it doesn't look like she saw me. I wonder if I can sneak up on her, though. Yeah, I can. Got him. There we go. I found Betty's stuff. Hello, Betty. I have your things. You're a miracle worker. <laughs> Truly. Oh, I only wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, wait. I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. I think I will. There's something in the fountain, eh? Better be good. Is that a cup? Broken cup? A very sad broken cup. Alright, Wilson wants to see me in his lab. That's cool, that's cool. Wilson knows my purpose. That's fantastic news, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Ooh. Cancer liquid. Looks radioactive as fuck. Ooh. Ain't 
How pretty. Somebody just sitting here staring at it? I mean, I guess if you don't have television down here, this will work, right? Ooh. It's like a tie-dye color tunnel. Is that blood? Nah. Probably just red paint, right? Nobody actually bleeds down here anyway. It's all ink. Wow. They put some effort into coloring this door, didn't they? And Wilson's posters. Hmm. Tell me what it is so I know how to get ready. I feel like that could be like an option, you know. Book. Give me the book. Thank you. Thank you for coming all this way. The ink demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come. Let me show you my creation. Oh joy. Oh what in the fuck is that? Simple. But Ship Ahoy elegant. Dudley. A treasure. Powerful yeah, beyond anyone. The ink demon will fall. To a little sailor boy? We can have peace at last. Uh, it could work. Audrey, are you serious? It sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No. We don't. All the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. Right. Oh! At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. No, it With the fuck it isn't. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come yeah, no now, fucking Audrey. shit. Part of you knew this was your path. No. -uh. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My Shocker. father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate. Industrial genius. And look at Business you. Business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world. The doers, as he called them. He knew only the best. The biggest thinkers. How could his lowly son ever hope to compete with that? Yeah, exactly. But now, thanks to you. I can. Or no need to struggle. My signal out, prevents Wilson. you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, <sighs> keeps the ink demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. <sighs> and not live me again. again. I swear to God, if you kill me again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be upset. <sighs> No! Not this time! Uh, yeah! Get him! Uh, or push him. Uh, Hell yeah, Audrey. 
Oh, he's in pieces. I just found a hot dog. Please don't eat it. memory of a hot dog. Alright, subject accepted. I mean, he's over there. What else we got? More soup? That's not telling at all. I decided to go for a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down so the much park. soup. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while, found a quiet bench, even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages. I, I too I've grabbed a hot dog recently. Tessa would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the animation department and said hello to the troops. Oh, look at this hallway. Oh my gosh, they're getting younger every day. Either that or I'm just getting older. It all made me realize time is moving on. The hard struggles don't seem as dire as they used to. Life has other value. I think I'll go home early today. Maybe I'll even pick up a hot dog for Tessa. Then she's really gonna know you're off your diet. Ink machine! You were birthed from the darkest shadow. Ask what question? Oh, I don't think flipping this switch is going to be a smart idea. Hmm, let's see. throw was that? Nope. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even charge my pipe. Look at me go. Alright, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh? I have powers now? Um... Go away. Oh, 
Okay, I see what I see what's going on now. I have to wait till he charges at me and then teleport away. Yep. Is that Wilson on his stomach there? Oh, what the hell is happening now? Oh, ouch. Oh, he's stuck. Perfect. Oh, he... Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucked this all up. I'm gonna die, probably. Alright, wait till he charges at me, and then... I don't have too much hope that uh, I'm gonna survive this one. Do I duck when he does that? Okay, cool. And then I hit. Oh gosh. Okay. And then... Ah! Oh, I am so close to death right now. TBIs in your life, didn't you? Oh, he took off her legs. There is so much happening right now. Hell yeah. I think I'd rather deal with Demon Dendi than, you know weird goat sailor spider. Oh, you're bleeding out. We need a tourniquet? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and stop the blood flow here. Or not. I think we're just gonna bleed out. My legs are broken. I don't think I have a choice. Ouch. It says you. At least you're self aware. Not I will make you strong. I will make you evil. Mm hmm. How? Honestly? I can't fault her for just giving in at this point. If I had both my legs ripped off, I'd be like, take me. this thing end with just Audrey becoming the ink demon? Oh. Sure enough, it happened. Look at them nails, though. What's happening to me? There's always a choice. Oh. Hi, I Joey? know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside okay, somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. 
In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family, his daughter, my daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. I'm with you. Be on this one. Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are wasted. <laughs> the failure of Joey Drew dies here. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. Just a pencil and a dream. This isn't enough. He's got the reel I need. You have to have. Is that the end? And okay. Just right trigger to smash open doors. You're just a bomb. Oh, good. What makes you think you can defy me? Arise, my domain. Destroy this. Oh, he is hard to control. Alright. Surrounded. We are one, remember? Hey, what's up, Allison? Allison! Audrey! Is that you in there? Come on! Keep moving! We'll get you through! Tom! Make us some trouble! We got Big Steve! Keep going! 
Need some help? Huh? Henry! You can! Henry! Some battles are worth fighting for, even a million times. Come on! I found a projector up ahead. Run for it! Sick. This man is mad. And the second you can kill. Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. Everybody's in here now. Oh, it's Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Alright. Let's end this shit. So what happens now? Does she just wake up at the start again? My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Nice trick. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Oh, he's so cute. Who can Oh, escape? look at him. acting in this was super good. I'm glad they put more into it. Gotta be a cutscene at the end, though. There wasn't the first one. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it looks like Gent came and took their ink machine. Neat. Well, thanks everybody for joining me for this playthrough of Bendy and the Dark Revival. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I heavily enjoyed this game. So join me on whatever game I am playing next. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.